Hey everyone, I just want to say in this video to bless those people who perpetrate against you. For these souls are most likely your soul friends and they, they trigger in you pain and hurt that's been unhealed, unresolved from your past. And at the same time, through these losses that you suffer on the hands of others, which comes in a variety of ways, you expand, okay? You expand, you learn, you grow, you develop, you deepen. You become a far more multi-dimensional, multi-faceted, like a big huge crystal ball, like with a thousand sides. You become like the diamond, you know? Through pressure, through time and force. You become you, and without them, you would be a far lesser person. So I just want to remind you, everyone, this goes even beyond forgiveness. This is like tuning into the energy of gratitude and vibration. Gratitude and appreciation vibration. <sighs> so yeah, do not fret and play the victim card all your life. The mentality, the identity, which we all do and we have done. You know, some of us don't do it anymore, of course, but, um, yeah, maybe we do from time to time, just for a few, for a few moments or seconds or minutes or, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, an hour here or there, maybe if we're, if for me, I don't do it, I don't know how much I do, but it's not too much anyway. Um, so do set, do feel and, and open up to the heart energy, the tuned energy, string, accordion, cello, vibrational podcast of love and gratitude and appreciation for these people because they're soul contracts you know we have life contracts soul contracts etc 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 so um do do honor and pay the respect for the two of you you know we all have contracts we don't know the 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 the, the, the full story of our past present and future and how everything ties in together for everybody so like do i do have a sense of belief and faith and destiny to a degree but it's extremely open so there's no like absolute final destination but like we do have contracts for example like uh, a loss but what's going to happen after the loss a lot of it is, is like up to you you know but um some of it I do feel is definitely more or less, you know, what's going to happen, like the soul or the spirit or your higher self will kind of know what's going to happen more or less for the most part, there or thereabouts. Not all the fine details, but like the general like movement in your life to the next elevated phase. But anyway, everyone, I'll send you love and I uh, hope this message helps you and touches your heart a little bit. I hope it helps you to reflect on the losses and the suffering you've had in life and also at the hands of people in life. And I hope it helps you to have a sense of closure and letting go, healing, loving, opening up. And then you go on to the new phase. You either you either develop a new, more amazing relationship with that person where the two of you have done so much learning, growing and healing and expansion. And it's far more balanced and harmonious and like wise and peaceful and harmonious and developed and sweet and tender and understanding and affectionate and warm and loving and kind and appreciative and gentle and sweet and fruity hour you just simply love and let go you don't talk to them for a long time or maybe forever or they could have passed on so you don't talk to them anymore again also and then also you develop a new better relationship like that with a new person and that's your new contract so new soul friend i apologize for the beep on facebook ah oh, god how could i always forget to uh, um to press that airplane mode <laughs> okay everyone, lots of love, take care.